If you want to prepare for IELTS adequately, you need to use reliable materials. By that, I mean materials that are both informative and genuinely helpful. The internet is awash with terrible advice by uninformed people, but thankfully there are some great books you can buy. In this video, I am going to introduce some of the best IELTS books for 2011. Before we begin, I would like to introduce three books that I have written. The first is called Grammar for IELTS Writing, and it is a basic guide to the most important points of grammar you need to know to take IELTS. The next is a complete guide to IELTS writing that serves as a general overview of the exam, and the third one is called How to Write the Perfect Essay for IELTS. It is a step-by-step -step guide to writing a band 9 essay. You can find all three of these on my website, on Amazon, or order them through your local bookshop. Okay, let's begin the list of best IELTS books. First of all, I really like the Focus on IELTS book series published by Pearson Longman and edited by Sue O'Connell. These books are divided into chapters that are based upon different topics, which I always tell people is a great way to study for this exam. The material is interesting and helps you to learn a wide range of skills. One of the problems with IELTS materials is that they can be a little too specific in their focus on, for example, the writing test. It can be boring just to study the same things again and again, and these books avoid that by taking a topic like health and then exploring it through different texts and adding in different grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation issues, and so on. In each section of the book, you'll learn all four skills, which are reading, writing, speaking, and listening. It is full of genuine advice, but also a wide array of practice exercises that can really engage you and help you to learn more effectively. This is my favorite IELTS book series, and I highly recommend it for both students and teachers. Next up, we have the Collins series of IELTS books. These are actually quite similar to the Focus on IELTS books in that they are also separated into chapters that go topic by topic. However, they are a little more focused on grammar and the material is a little drier, which means that the focus books are more interesting, in my opinion. There are different books in this series, so you can pick up the writing book to improve your writing skills, the speaking one to improve your speaking skills, and so on. That means it is a better choice for people who just want to practice on one particular area of their English abilities. But again, I think it makes it a little less interesting and less effective than the Focus on IELTS series. Still, this is a pretty good series of books that could definitely help IELTS students to prepare for their exam, and I would recommend both students and teachers to take a look. The next book I would like to introduce is the official Cambridge Guide to IELTS. The fact that this is official should tell you everything. With so much bad information online, it is nice to have something trustworthy to rely upon. This book is divided into different sections that focus on the different parts of the test and is then subdivided into the skills needed to excel at those sections. For example, there is a chapter on describing maps for IELTS writing task 1 and this focuses on how to show changes that have taken place over a period of time. This sort of language is incredibly useful. It can also show you how to focus on the most important information for IELTS listening, filtering out all the unimportant stuff. Because this is an official guide, the accompanying material and examples are all reliable and realistic. This next book has a weird title. It's called Common Mistakes at IELTS Advanced. In spite of that odd title, it contains some really great information. Specifically, it aims to fix common grammatical errors that occur among advanced IELTS candidates. The first two chapters deal with mistakes people make when using or not using articles. It also deals with commonly confused words and other major issues. I run my own IELTS writing correction service and I see these errors every single day. I can say with some certainty that if more people read this book, a lot of the most frequent mistakes would quickly disappear. Finally, I'm going to include the most obvious books on this list, which are the IELTS Practice Test Series. Put out by Cambridge, these tests are invaluable for IELTS candidates because they give you a realistic set of practice papers to work with before your real exam. I think that most of you are already aware of these, but if you aren't, then please go find copies. 
The ones with the highest numbers are the latest, and the lowest numbers are the earliest. There haven't been many changes in IELTS over the years, and certainly nothing significant, but you should still aim to do the most recent ones first, just to get a better feel for what the test is now like. That concludes our list of the best IELTS books for 2021. Good luck to everyone who's preparing to take their IELTS test this year. Head to www.tedielts.com for the very best free IELTS materials.